Hi, this is Saskia from Losanji Skinny Pig Rescue, and I would like to talk about food today. Um, they're being very loud. I think they're hearing someone eating here. Maybe I rustled a little lettuce, and you know, they go crazy. You, you know that. If you have guinea pigs, you know that that happens, right? Um, so I want to specifically talk about how much food to feed, and what is enough, and what is not enough. And I have a beautiful assistant here called Marla, who is helping me. She was surrendered about a week and a half ago or so with a bed upper respiratory and very skinny and she's since put on about 150 grams and, and she's doing awesome as you can see. Healthy appetite. I'm very happy about that. Okay, how much to feed? Let's start with the basics. The basics are your hay and your pellets. Really important part. This is probably the most important part of their diet, which is the hay, okay? So, you want to have this unlimited in the cage at all times. So there should never be a time where there is no hay in the cage. Just shouldn't happen, okay? And, and often you'll put it and they'll, they'll step on it and you think there's still hay. It looks like there's still hay, but the truth is that they are actually not going to um, eat it anymore because they stepped on it or peed on it and, hey, cut, cut it out there. <laughs> I can't hear myself talk. <laughs> it's so cute. Anyway, um, so don't be tricked into thinking that that's still edible and food and they should eat that first before you put new hay in. Um, always make sure they have nice fresh hay. Do you scoop out the old hay and put in fresh Sometimes, hay? yeah. You know, sometimes I do. But if we're kind of, you know, st st stuck for time, then kind of, you know, but you can definitely do it. Definitely do it. If you see it got really dirty and it's a lot, it's like kind of at the end of the week and it's cleaning time, definitely just ch take it out. Um, so yeah, this is super, super important. And this is a Timothy hay. Pellets. How many times a day do we do hay here? Twice. Twice. Yeah, so sorry. We feed twice a day, morning and evening. So the mornings is when they get the hay and the pellets filled up, you wanna make sure they're always nice and fresh. And for that reason, you also don't wanna to put too much in it. I always put about a handful per guinea pig. And that's kind of, and then I fill it up, like kind of a couple of handfuls actually, which comes to about a little less than this for one pig, and I measure it that way. And the reason is not because I wanna limit their food, but the reason is that if it becomes stale or there's too much in the bowl and they don't eat it right away, it will become stale. They're super picky and they just don't really want to eat it anymore. So, plus they can pee in it and just, you know, then you have to throw the whole thing away and it's just a waste, especially when I, when we have this many piggies. We, we need to make sure that every penny counts here, right? So, um, so that's a good tip. Make sure that it's not stale, your pellets, because then they just don't really want to eat it anymore. It's a nice and fresh pellet. Okay. Then, yeah, twice a day, morning we feed, and then we feed in the evening. Mornings is just the pellets and the hay, and then the evenings when we actually do the veggies. And I think a lot of people are a little unsure as to how much to feed the veggies. Should they even feed veggies? I think there's a, 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 there's a new trend where people are not feeding their guinea pigs veggies. Um, that I've heard that. Um, and then people are saying, oh, I mustn't feed too much. My guinea pig's going to uh, get overweight gonna get fat. My vet told me my guinea pig is overweight. Now I hear that a lot actually where the veterinarian says when they go for a little checkup or whatever says oh your guinea pig is really chunky and it's you know you really got to be careful maybe you should put them on a diet and let me tell you right now the worst thing you can do ever in the life of a guinea pig is put them on a diet. It really is the worst thing. Uh, well for one they live for for their food right and the other thing is that they really need that food going through their system. They really do. And there's tons of vitamin C in the veggies that they absolutely require. So, now what is enough? That's the question. I see sometimes people come here for the health checks and I see people coming with guinea pigs that are pretty skinny. And it's like, gosh, how much are you feeding? It's just not, you know, I can feel it. It's got this little, oh, are you purring? Oh, how sweet. Oh, how sweet. Look, she's eating and purring. She's happy. Yeah, a happy girl. So, let's see. One portion for one guinea pig 
we usually do at least two different types of things. So it's like a carrot or a cucumber or you know something like that, at least two. Um, we have parsley, of course, cilantro is a really good one to feed. So let's say if this is all I have in my fridge right now, then let's create a portion, okay? Let's see. There's some seeds in there. Oh, there's seeds in there. Seeds are fine. They really, it doesn't affect them. Despite of what people might um, uh, write online and stuff, it totally is not harmful, not poisonous, then they, they won't choke on it. Um, so this would be a good portion. For one pig for or one for pig. two? Okay. Yeah. Um, if there's some leafy stuff in there, you probably want to do it more. This is kind of pretty solid, but let's see. If I'm feeding romaine, I would feed probably at least this much per pig. Of only romaine or on top of that? No. I would kind of, you know, even that is a nice portion because the romaine really, it's just lettuce, right? And it's really not that very dense. So yeah. even this would be a nice portion. And how long do you think it would take for them to eat all of this? Well, this is, that's a very good question because I always say if you're feeding your greens and your guinea pigs are finished within five minutes eating the greens, that means you didn't feed enough greens. They all have a pace of eating and most of the time all guinea pigs are kind of on that same pace. So if they're not like solidly eating the greens for like say, you know, maybe 10 minutes is a bit much, but yeah, you know, eight, 10 minutes, then I may you want to maybe even time it. That's probably means you didn't give them enough. So you want to just feed them a little extra the greens. So yeah, now this is all good stuff. It's got all kinds of yummy vitamins in it and I mean especially the pepper is just awesome but you like the romaine and the guinea pigs just love romaine they live for the romaine what do you think like about fruits Saskia fruits oh we don't have any fruits here but absolutely we feed fruits um, you don't want to feed it too often but some people say only once a week you'd be very careful it's too much sugar you know it's 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 okay it's not now, dried fruit is a whole different story because that does kind of have a high concentration of sugars. But, you know, we eat fruit every day. We eat an apple a day or a banana, whatever. So it's, it's really not that bad. But you want to make sure that the main diet really are the veggies, you know? Um, and then the other thing is, go look at some of my forage videos as well because this is all stuff you got to buy in the store. Very expensive, right? Um, so what we do is... I go, I go forage and I just, especially now in the spring, it's lovely. I go and, and look around and I drive around and by the side of a you know, little side street or whatever and all of a sudden I see this wealth of free food. So fresh grass is actually the best thing you can give your guinea pigs. It's got everything they need, super nutritious and this is all that is. This is actually just dried grass is what it is. So in the fresh form, hay in the fresh form is actually absolutely fantastic. So, so if you have a backyard, like you could take your piggies out in the backyard? Absolutely. So you want to check what's in there though, but most most things are, are kind of safe to eat. You can use an app and just identify the plant also. That's what I do. I just take an app and I, I, I figure it out like, oh my gosh, that's so and so. Oh, perfect. If you can eat it, the guinea pigs can eat it. That's what I always say. You get all these questions. Can a guinea pig eat this or that? And, you know, if you can eat it, then that means that they're not going to, you know, die from it or something. So. Now, one last question about guinea pigs and what they should be eating. Water. What do you say about water? Like, how much water should they be drinking? How do you measure that? How often should you be? Okay, that's a good question, too. So, yes, water. So, this is a bigger bottle, and this would be for, like, two pigs. I use a smaller one when it's just a single pig in a single cage. Um... The water intake all depends on the guinea pig. It really does. It all depends on the pig. Some have a, a high need for water and others are actually very happy with just the greens and the water they get from their greens um, and, and they just don't really feel the need to drink more water. Uh, it's really odd, but that's how it works. Some pigs just get tons of water from there they just don't need anymore. And then you get the pigs that we have one right now who is actually not drinking right now, which is funny because he drinks all the time but that's because he actually has a hypothyroidism and that's one of the symptoms is drinking lots and lots of water. 
Um, so if you have a guinea pig that's, can, I mean, all the time goes through like at least one and a half a bottle like this. Now that may be a little much, but smaller one, like a whole bottle. He goes through about a, a bottle and a half a day. But a lot of it actually kind of, he drinks it, but then it drops out of his mouth on the floor. So he doesn't actually drink all of it. But anyway, uh, a guinea pig that is excessively drinking, then you want to look at, you want to look into. And you should be cleaning yeah. that out. So this is actually a great tip. If you, a lot of people don't know this, you clean your inside of the bottle, but this part, this part gets really dirty and icky as well as this part. So I always take a Q-tip and I just go inside and this is a used bottle so maybe we can find something here. A little bit, it's not really, not green. But a lot of times you'll find that it's like really green inside and icky. So you wanna do this and then you wanna do this. And I promise you, if you go do this now, you're probably gonna find some green stuff come on your, on your Q-tip. So this is important to know that you want to clean this. You want to use uh, filter water. The tap water is just, you know, it's not that good. We don't really want to drink the tap water, so the guinea pig shouldn't either. Um, but it would not be the end of the world if they had a little bit of tap water. No, no, absolutely not. There's tons of people that, that drink the tap water as well. So, you know, it's just, if you have, a, if you have that option, then maybe you should take that option. Also, cleaning the these water. will help uh, prevent it from leaking as well. Yes, because it can get a little clogged in here, and then it can get a little, so it, uh, you know, exactly, can get a little leaky, so. But there, you know, I, I hope that this kind of helped in terms of how much we feed and what is the right portion. And again, just use that eight minute kind of mark to know that if they're s still eating, sorry, if they're not eating after the eight minutes, or they finished in five minutes, give them some more food because you can't really overfeed a guinea pig. And that's what I really want to send home to everyone is that you can't overfeed a guinea pig. You really, you really can't. She's going to have enough soon and she's going to stop. And now a lot of people say also, don't feed too much of this, the lettuce and stuff, because they're going to get a soft stool. And to be honest, I've never really noticed that. There's some pigs that just eat, eat, eat the romaine and they don't really get a soft stool at all. Even if you just feed, you know, with normal portions, people say, oh, you shouldn't really feed them that much because they get a, a loose stool. But if you want to feed them a whole thing a day, then yeah, okay, you know, that's, that's not good. In fact, you know, why don't you start eating something else right now? Everything in moderation, right? Lettuce. Exactly, everything in moderation was what I always say. So don't feed too much of just the one thing give them a little option of this and that. And, and you know, they get actually, they're really funny. They, they, get, they get fed up if you feed the same food for four days in a row. I feed parsley four days in a row, and then they're like, man, do you got anything else? Because I was kind of over the parsley. Variety. <laughs> Which is so funny. It's like people, I don't want to eat the same thing every day, you know? So, yeah. Well, if you guys have any questions, Saskia will be answering them. Yeah, absolutely. On her YouTube. Yeah. Thanks well, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Say bye, Marla. Bye, guys.